Greetings, everybody. My name is Matt Panitis, and I am the director as well as a teacher at Tonal Art Music Center. We are a private music school based in Hoboken, New Jersey, and we give lessons to students of all ages and levels uh, on all instruments, uh, guitar, piano, saxophone, flute, voice, and uh, others that I'm probably forgetting. Um, so over the past six months, you know, like so many others out there, we've taken our business online and we've been given pri giving private lessons over Zoom and we've gotten very good at doing this. We found a number of things that are actually very beneficial to our students and uh, they've been getting a lot better. So I would like to take a moment and show you some of those things and, and how they can benefit you when you're when you're working on music. Um, but before I do that, I'd like to introduce you to some of our great teachers. Hi, my name is Sean David Cunningham. Hello, my name is Hezon. I teach piano and music composition. Hi, my name is Herman Gonzalez and I teach piano and guitar. Hi, I'm Anthony Francois and I teach saxophone and piano. Hi, my name is Mark Velez and I teach ukulele, piano, and guitar. Alright, what's happening everybody? So I just want to take a second and show you a couple of these great features that we can use in Zoom that can really enhance the lesson experience. So let's say you're taking a guitar lesson with me, you're going to be able to see me just like this, clearly. Hear the instrument. So I can demonstrate things for you that you might be working on. And I can also share music. Like for example, I could pull up a PDF of this tune, Hallelujah. And here you can see the cursor. I can point out elements of the music. Oh, look at this chord, look at this chord. Here's the tablature, here's the notes, you know. can, for example, send the PDF to you so you can work on it and even quickly record a small example of, of me playing the song that I can uh, include at the end of the lesson so you have something to practice along with. Let's say a student is having a particular problem. I can pull up this whiteboard, which is very useful. I have a couple of things here already. Um, and utilizing the spotlight, I can point out notes. You know, this is a C, this is a whole note. Uh, this is an E, if the student is working on learning different notes, uh, B, A, etc. Um, I can also, let's see, make some shapes here. Let's say we're trying to work on a C chord. I can put these stars here, indicating where the finger, different fingers go. And then down here quickly, we add the finger numbers and explain to the student, okay, this is a C chord. So with these tools, it, it really feels like a live lesson where I might have a notebook and be writing these things down for the student as we go along um, and demonstrating things and, 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 and pointing out ways to improve technique. I hope this helps you see some of the great features that we can uh, use during a Zoom lesson.